The Original Lie, The Sun, Chapter 1, Leviathans. Truth is, it seems we need proof of God as much as God needs us to prove it for ourselves. We must spend time discovering God. But you need this already. You didn't need me to remind you. You know it's more than rumored that many great scientific institutions are hiding evidence of real giants. Giants, you know. Giants, how, how big? Can you imagine a big God like the God we're supposed to have? This huge supreme being that he created all things great and small. But wouldn't you want to bet he created us really a lot smaller? <laughs> but there's a little uh, symmetry going on with that thing as above, so below. Because that's kind of a metaphor for big and small. So how big is big? Can you imagine a creature the size of a planet? When animals get that big, they're called leviathans. Would it surprise anyone that our mother earth, yes, our living planet, is a female leviathan? And that's what people are trying to protect? See, the figure eight is infinity, of course, and the earth is represented often by a snake chasing its tail, like the one presented here. This symbol over here actually is the symbol for Leviathan. I know you see where this symbol is. It's just turned on its side, but I believe these symbols are the same. Such as this right here and this. They're the same. They're the same. They know that the planet is a living, breathing, dragon Leviathan. They know. And they and you know that this is the sign for the Jesuits. And the Jesuits, there's a full history behind this, and I would like to share that with you. As they are now part of the great RCC, or the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And there's some very important but unfortunate news I'd like to share regarding some of our major religions, one of them being the great RCC, another one being you know, evangelicals even. I don't mean to just keep ranting on everyone, but my God, the Muslims, <laughs> uh, their faith has been compromised as well. And uh, I don't think they know it, but uh, I'm hoping I can present my case enough to where it's understood what's going on here. Now, I know that this symbol is the ancient symbol of Saturn, okay, of the planet. Let me scoot up a little bit. And there is a lot to do with the Saturn reincarnation cycle and having to do with what's going on on this planet with our souls. And uh, I know you may or may not believe in a soul because you associate soul with God. And, you, and well, you should. Because our soul does connect us with the Creator God. Not these alien gods that we think we have that came here and we think they seeded the planet. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what. Let's go with that. Let's run with that. They got here. They seeded the planet. Yay! Good for them. Who created them? And before that, who created them? And before that, who created the planets? And before that, who created the cosmos? The gases, the hydrogen, the everything. It wasn't these aliens. It wasn't some reptilian as magnificent of a species as they are. It wasn't a gray alien as intelligent of a species as they are. It <laughs> We're confusing religion, and God. Okay? I didn't realize that. But all of a sudden, when you start to, when I started to separate the two, I realized, aha! I get it now. I get why there is such a strong connection to aliens and reptilians and and I kept going, reptilians, why? Oh, yeah, sure. And then I read the Bible, and they're talking about Adam and Eve, and in the Garden of Eden, there's a snake. Oh, that's right. I wasn't playing word association games, but a snake is a reptilian, is a lizard, is a dinosaur. And if you don't think the reptilians are pissed as hell at us, 
for destroying their dinosaurs. And yes, they do hold us responsible for that. They blame our God. They think our God wiped them out. But that's what we've been taught. It's what the Bible says. God decided to wipe us all out with this great flood. Except for the line of who? Noah? Yes, exactly. He was trying to terminate the line of Cain. But there were some survivors, we believe, which is why we're evil here on earth. So, let's see where we are. 